I've been on a bit of adventure with Hills Green and Charlotte, who's feeling the face. Uh, thanks to Siobhan that's driving. So we've been to Cramp. So Cramp is like Amazon for tractor parts. They have a massive warehouse and they distribute it overnight. So they haven't paid me to be or anything like that. And they didn't even give us biscuits. But here's what we've done <laughs> in the last 24 hours. Typical Cheshire barn. We're not, just Don't know. Just find the kettle. <laughs> Hello. No one here. I feel really naughty. Oh, I found a kettle. <laughs> I can hear people upstairs. Hello. Hello. <laughs> can you be telling that you're doing an important phone call? I am on an important. Look at the um. This is the offices, but look at this. See them beams were too low, so they've been like chopped out, and then they've put steel in, so that they can give it more headroom. Like that, but, but if you stand up and you sit here, then you're red when you stand up. So that sheep's wool that stops, like the acoustics should really be wrapped around that beam, I think. So we're driving through the, the Bedfordshire Hills, Mr. P's driving, and cramp. You can't see, but it's a big warehouse over there. No, you can't see now because it's a hedgerow. So we'll see what's going on inside it. Is that like a water tower water or something? Tower, Must be, yeah. Must be fixing it because they got scaffolding on it. See the sign though when we were on out the road and it was massive. There's that this. could be it. Uh, visitors. Yeah, boy. It's a fair building, that isn't it? Uh, parking entrance. What are you thinking? I'd go that way. Where all the dirty trucks are. <laughs> Imagine how many bolts and bolts must be in there. <laughs> we'll have some racks, won't we? Oh, we played the game. Guess how many nuts and bolts are here. Play at the end. We'll tell you at the end of the thing. Surely someone knows. Like you've got They've got a taste in here, haven't they? <laughs> now, I never knew that cars should make electric ride-on sweepers that tip. When they turned on. So when it gets to a certain height, does it just dump it out? Yeah. <laughs> so it gets to the top and then you press another button that would open that. Uh, there you go. Hey! <laughs> Dumps everything out. I think it'd fill up pretty quick on our yard because of the wood chip, to be honest. Oh, yeah, we go bigger than this. Yeah. Much bigger than this. Oh, yeah. This is sort of one of our mid sized vacuum sweepers. It's a good bit of kit indoor and outside. Robust bit of machinery. Take it wherever you want to take Definitely it. think we need one on demo. Let's <laughs> well, see what we can do for you. So that's underneath, it's got like, it's actually like a proper big hoover brush. The battery's in there. Sign the bucket, Tom. Sign the bucket? Yeah, well, let's see if the tractor breaks, you can swap the bucket to a different one. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you going to start rapping? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so we're at Don's, uh, Donaldson. Is that how it's been out? It's Donaldson, yeah. Donaldson filters. And they, they test the filters by spraying a kilogram of dust through. Most filters are only 99% efficient, so that's how much gets through. Some are 99.9, .9, that gets through, and then there's a 99.99, .99, and only that much dust gets through. And apparently they burst test them in Belgium, and he said I can go to the factory and watch that. Yeah, well, well, I've well, just, just stood on <laughs> all these stuff. I'm so intrigued by what you're talking about. And they're giving away sweets and stress balls. Now, did you know they did boots as well? Oh. I don't like dark boots. I prefer lighter like, coloured ones. Left-handed wire strippers. Did you even know such a thing existed? Is this like a glass? Watch, watch, watch. He's gonna do. He's gonna do a demo. I am right-handed, so unfortunately, the left-handed one got nicked yesterday. But <laughs> <laughs> nice and simple. Yeah. Wire goes in the top. Quarter twist. 
pool. Oh, wow. Then, then, watch now. So now you can do your inner cores. So all your sizes up to four mil there. So same, same principle, quarter twist and pull. Holy moly, How take my that? money. Yeah. And you've Have also it. got a blade. See that blade in here? Yeah. So if you're slitting down the outside of the cable. Oh. oh. Yeah. Anyway, I'm off now. <laughs> Good then, aren't they? Yeah. It's obviously our main. <laughs> That's some windows there, isn't it? Dangerous goods. This is where all the dangerous goods are stored. So stuff that's flammable. And them cones in the roof, if something was to go wrong, they'd fill it with foam and it's completely bonded. Even the doors bonded and drops into them bits there to contain any spillages and suppress fires. And it will carry on along now. So all the windows, all the PTO shaft guards are down there as well. Some straw in here and grain. The uh, dangerous goods packing area. All the different stickers. All the toys going. Someone's had a bad day, they've done three PO chef guards. Oh, so I didn't break this. So it's like everything you could imagine. Uh, fitting start motors, bolts, filters, two inch taps, pull cord, PTO shaft guards, metal pipes, file handles for chainsaws, lifting straps. We got having a trolley dash around here. Michelle, who is working at the moment, she's regularly over the hundred. Toys. Okay. And then even there as well. Well over hundred. Yeah. So when you're Padlocks, working down, filter heads. In and out, yeah. It's not just a case of oh, pull that from that location. Yokes. Breakaway cables, PTFE tape to sink a ship. Yeah. We found baby quad tracks. Oh, look at that. I've actually got one of them. Someone sent me one of them. Baby, love it. Look, um, ratchet straps, hammers. The red handles so you don't lose them. It's mad, isn't it? It's everywhere. Oh, a little sprayer. What tiny sprayer? It's funny how it is. It, is it, why is it, why are they like mixed in? I think they'd be like a toy aisle, wouldn't you? Yeah. Guards, green cable ties. <laughs> Tiny wellies. Tiny wellies. Little Dunlops. No way. <laughs> That's way cute. You know Paddington Bear was Dunlops? Did he? He did indeed. Look, see more toys? They're just like infused. Where did they go? We lost, we've lost the convoy. Pack an area where they put everything in a box and seal it all up. It's like a robot. Land Rover. It's like I'm just spotting the toys. They're just like hidden, aren't they? Jugs. Little jugs. Not for toys, not for toys. Belts. Gloves. Down a level. Doits. <laughs> What's that one? Bale feeder. That's just incredible how it's like mixed up. Oh, toys, 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 and more wellies. 
this is the outside story. So when I was looking the other day on the website at the suction hose that we need for hoovering out under them floors, I was thinking, how can they possibly have that on the shelf? Well, they don't. They have it in a crate outside. 50 metres of suction hose. Go on, go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Nah, not as far. Ready? Ready. Oh, oh, that was a good effort. The founder of Crom, Mr. Crom, did the same, also in the Netherlands. Uh, so in the early days, we had two family companies, the Per Dog family company and the Crom family company. After I had been taken over, uh, the family company of my dad, uh, in the, at the end of the 90s, we merged the two family companies into one. So Crumb and Burdock became one. That's a proper rack, because it's got grinding discs on and wire. Ooh, it's got hose clips on the end. Look at that. Spur brush heads, it's the, it's the poles we break. Right, I need some M8 bolts. <laughs> Don't, you'll ruin the whole, if you take them, you'll ruin the whole system. Quick, fill your pockets. <laughs> That's good with the first aid kit on, isn't it? It's very organised. Does yours still look like this with like paint? Mmm, we got that bit at that end. But yeah, pretty much. Oh look, there's the, that's Caleb's workshop actually, that's it. there's all the little bits, different places, so we are here, and we've got to get to there, there's 11 apparently, One, two, three, looks more than 11. Oh right, I'm sure he said 11 before. Three, two. Yeah. 22 stop spots on there. Just finished now the cramp tour. Anyway, random fact, I didn't hear it because I was chatting to the guy at the back who actually is the CEO, but the reason why all the toys and all the wellies and all the things are spread out is if the different people won't pick the wrong product so if you've gone to pick up a 10 milli bolt off that rack in that warehouse and the eight mils and the nine mils are next to it you could pick up the wrong one by mistake whereas if you get sent to the location on that racking to pick up that specific part that will be the only thing in that area that resembles what you need to pick up and it stops mistakes happening once you do then put it in a box it goes through on a conveyor belt and then gets checked by somebody else and then once they're happy that the order is all complete it then gets sealed up and then sent out and if you order before six o'clock at night it's on your farm the next day that's what they're trying to do they're trying to make sure that everything is next day so anyway it's really good looking around I did think it might be a little bit bigger but when you think that they've got 70,000 items in there it's still fairly big we're on the A1 look at this it's it's not quite as shiny as David Jones's, but it's a quarter, oh, it's a 600. What a beast made of straw. It's a monster that, isn't it? Cab looks a bit air -conned. After 300 yards and... Meanwhile, back at the yard, <laughs> you awake. <laughs> it's dead dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, meanwhile, back in the yard, the lads have been doing some brickwork, so here's a little bit of that. It's filming. I don't think we're going to the other office here. You can hear me neither. Are you filming? Yeah, yeah you, having, you having a brew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be this time. That is about all for today. It is on the birthdays. Here they are. Normal business will be resumed tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Winter's here, I've had to give in and put my hat on. We have Henry from Cork, 53 yesterday. You missed it off yesterday, Henry, but you're on there today instead. Darren Wood is 49. Alan Wallace is 50. Sandra O'Rourke is 50 again. Lily B is 13. Ted Nichols is 40. Rose Palmer is 2. £51,565 raised. And if you want to be on the bumper, there's a link under every video. And if you want to be on the sprayer, then uh, maybe there's only a few days left of doing that because it's getting too cold out here.